Hey there, hey, it's Kimberly with Beige and Co Budgets. And today we are doing a bill swap. Kind of impromptu, didn't really plan to do this this weekend, but I feel like I need to go through and see what's there. I really don't know how much we're gonna be touching, so it might be a short video, it might be a, a long video, but we can sit here and gab while I go through the, um, our binders to see what we can put back into the bank. So as I get started, um, we're gonna do the high priority binder first. And just to recap, I say it all the time, but I'm going to say it again. The whole reason why we do a bill swap and get this out of here is, yes, we don't want these thick and bulky. It's a little cumbersome. But we also don't want the money sitting in here because we need it in our high yield savings working for us. It's all about what else pass of what else type of passive income that we can have. And this is, this is an easy one, um, a no-brainer, really. We want to make sure that we... Are putting all this money back into the bank so we can um, uh, make money on that. So long, I, I stutter because I, we also don't want to touch lawn maintenance. I pay the gardener with cash, and so we're not going to condense that one at all right now either. Um, car insurance. Uh, this one. Let's see if there's anything we can consolidate, and there is. We can put all this in the bank. So well, not all of it, most of it. So this hundred dollar bill is definitely going in the bank. And right now we have 150, so we will consolidate the small bills too when we can. And then this $50 can also go in the bank. So we're gonna put this 20 and this 10 um, in the bank. So you hear random giggles. It's my daughter in the background watching her tablet and she's crafting over there. So this right here will also condense into one, one prop money. I do sell my prop money on my on my Etsy shop, Kimmy's Budgets. I'll put it right here, Kimmy's Budgets. But um, and I just had my biggest prop money order come through. I'm so grateful, so grateful. Um, so I just sent that off. I'm gonna post that video if I haven't done so already. By the time I post this, you'll see that. So um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I encourage you to go over there and just quickly follow me. I really do post some fun stuff over there, um, quick videos that I don't necessarily post here. So if you love what I post, <laughs> um, check me out on Instagram. So car insurance, we did that one already on to a great start. Um, so actually, I know y'all are screaming, put the 50 in, put the 50 in. I didn't do that. So I put the 50 over there. So 150 and I only did 100, so 300 and I don't have a 300 prop, not yet anyway. So we have to put that back. So now, now it's good. Okay, extra debt payment. I think we're about to use this money on one of the credit cards finally. So this 100 and, well, the 100 can go in the bank. So we'll do that. And, uh, nope, this is over here. So now we, have, we still have 450 and 20 over here. Yep. So, we try to keep $500 in this kind of as a buffer for the debt payments. So we have that. So I have a tracker back here I got from Hands and Mans. I'll be using that in the next 500 that we save. So you'll see that be integrated into our process. We'll our sleep number bed, 550. We have a little bit we can put in the bank. So let's do that. So right now we have $70. We'll put $50 in the bank. And so fifty dollars. I'm gonna take that fifty and trade it out for a one, one hundred. So we have six hundred and fifty in our sleep number. They actually went down in price, so maybe we don't have to save at six thousand. I only have to save four thousand. So we'll see about how much we actually have to save. Last time I checked that, it went down. So this, there's nothing we can do with this one, Family Mobile. So put that one back. Stock purchases. We were buying one. I don't know what happened. I haven't talked to Mr. A about it. Um, so this is still in here. We were gonna use this up, but we didn't. So now we have um, $50 we can put in the bank. So I'm gonna take 100 in five in stock purchases. And then medical. I don't know what we got in here. We got some cash. So 45. 
So nothing we can do with that right now. Okay. Car maintenance. We used some of this money actually, so there's no cash in here. We had the registration. So in Texas, we have to get it inspected before we can get our registration. So both of those are happening. So I took the cash that we had out of here to do the inspection. And um, the $200 is going to, half of that's going to disappear because I have to get the uh, registration. So you'll see that disappear as well. And then power forever. Nothing in there. And extra components we haven't saved for that. So all is good. I mean, it's already worthwhile to do this by just looking at what's in the cash tray so far. Okay, the other envelope or binder I know we have money in that we need to consolidate is this one. And, um, okay, so 52 week challenge. We have a lot we can consolidate. So we have a thousand in the bank right now. And to that, we're gonna put one, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 70, oh, nope. So we're probably gonna only look at that. So let's see how much this 50. So 350 was it? So one, two, 20, 40, 60, 81. So it's three and then 50, which is right here, 350. So let's see, we have a 250 and a 100. So now we have that in the bank for 52 week challenge. And in cash, we have 10, 20. So we'll switch this out for a 20. And even this, five, or one, two, three, four, five. There we go. Okay, so 25, 26, 27. So $27 left in cash. Awesome. The next one we're doing is save and double. So we have 1,050 in the bank for that one. So we're going to take this out. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 70, 75. Oh, I did this last time, didn't I? <laughs> Here's 50 and 100. So that's 200, 25, 30. We're not going to make it to 50, so we're going to have to keep that cash. So here's 100 going in the bank. And here's 100. So that's 200. And we already have a 50, so I'm actually going to get it to 50. So we have 25, 1250, 1250 in save and double in the bank, going in the bank. And then here we have 30. We're going to change this out for a 10. So 31, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we're going to change these ones out for a 5. For five, for five. Okay. So that has been consolidated. Um, Tis the season. We have 1,200 in the bank, 1,250 to be exact. And today we're going to put 150 in the bank. So 150 makes it what? 400? Love it. 425 and a thousand. So four fourteen hundred in the bank and twenty-five in hand for Christmas. And the last one here is the honeycomb challenge. And we have a thousand eleven hundred and fifty. And to that we can add 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So 150, 150, plus 150 here, which would make it 300. 
it'd still be two cards so it doesn't say me anything i don't have a 300 one so we're gonna leave it like it is and then this we're gonna swap out for two 20s let me see if i can find some nicer 20s there we go all right that was easy easy lemon squeezy I'm not gonna lie that is the second time i've said that today and <laughs> I said it to Miss B and she was like, not lemon squeezy. And I was like, yep, it's a lemon squeezy. <laughs> so this is what we've been able to put in the tray from the binders we looked at so far. So let's keep going. This is Miss B's binder and we're gonna take out some of the money. We're gonna keep track of what we have for her. And so I can just, I put it in a separate savings account. So I wanna make sure that I'm not commingling phones. I don't like doing that. So. I'm going to keep it over here for now, and then I'll I'll get back to you. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we're going to change this out for a 10. So she's going to put 50 in the bank. Right? Yep. Yep. Okay. And then, Mommy, I want... One, two, three, four, five. Let's switch that out for a five. And we're going to put this 50 in the bank. So that actually gives us a 200. And 45. And mommy, I want. And then this one. One, two, three, four, five. And we're gonna put this 50 in the bank on this B's day out. So that's going in there. Uniforms is definitely just gonna go in the bank because we won't be using this until we need it. One, two, three, four. Da, da, da. So just this 50. That in the bank. And then extracurricular, also something I want to put away if I can. So we're going to switch this out for 20. And this is going in the bank. Okay. So B's birthday is coming up. And I already paid the venue. So we are good there. I'm actually going to take all of the. Oh, wrong one. I'm going to take that and give myself a 20. So it's $23. I don't like that 20. Let's get a crisp one. Okay. It makes it easier to put in the envelopes out back and forth if they're a little more firm than the empty. So nothing going out of this one into the bank, but we have to get her birthday gift. So I'll probably take this hundred and go get her birthday gift, but we'll do that electronically and I'll fix that later. And college savings from her binder. That one has what? 1350 in it. 1350. And then to that, we're going to put one, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70. One, two, three, four. I don't know. Okay. Let's stop. That's not, we're going to change it to a 50. But before I do that, let me get this out of the way. And then, so this is 50 here. Let's just do this. Let's do that. And then we're going to put this back. And get a 150. There you go. Okay. So this is 20 here. Let's do that for now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 dollars. So we'll keep back three. So this is 15 dollars here. So we're going to take five and nice 10. all right 
So we are consolidated, less money to count when we stuff. So wait, let me see something on this. So this is 250 and 250 make oh, 500. We're at 500. Woohoo! Okay. So we have 1500 in the bank now. Oh, did I do that? This goes over here. And so does this. Okay. I bet y'all are also screaming like, no, don't put it over. You said you weren't going to. Yeah, I'm just remembering. <laughs> okay. So we're good here, good here. And then let me count this up so I can have it on record. Excuse me. Let me count it on record for what we need to put in Miss B's folder. So we have one, 52, 53, 54. So $400 is going into these um, savings. Okay, it's $450. Sweet. Okay, what else can we consolidate? So I haven't put anything in travel. We can go through that real quick just to make sure. But I know we haven't done anything to mount up to a bill swap in here. So that's $40 in flights. And I had to take money from this because we have no travel plans. So I actually need to update this. This, um, actually I did. So there's only $40 left in here. Um, and in hotel, we have 35 in cash. This is also one we had to dip into. So now it's only 35. We had to take $1,000 out of here. That we had saved up which is okay I'd rather take them here than go into debt so here we can actually put $50 in the bank if there's a 250 in here already we're gonna add 50 so that makes 300 in transportation yep dining out we have 250 in the bank already and I have $50 here, so I lied when I said there's nothing. There's a little bit. So 300 in dining out. Oh, 305 Dine in dining out. Make sure this is right. Yep. And then in attractions, we have oh, we have money here too. So 50 can go in the bank. Awesome sauce. When we are ready to travel though, let me tell you how much easier it's gonna to be to make that happen because we've been putting a little aside each time. And I don't even realize I'm putting money aside in here, like a $10 here, $20 there, but it adds up. And by the time we are ready to make that trip commitment and start booking things, it won't be such a upheaval financially to make that happen because we've been updating and putting towards our travel binder. So another yet reason to um, keep saving, right? Putting those few dollars away. So this is $30 in here, so nothing that we can do there to bill swap or consolidate. And the last one is miscellaneous. And in there, we have 100 in the bank and $30 in cash. So a total of 130 in miscellaneous. So we're able to do a little bit in travel. That's cool. Okay. Okay, so what other one? Nothing in my business binder. Let's look at the celebration binder and just see. I know that, let's see if there's just anything. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. At least consolidate, like we can put a 20 in this folder. Less bills to count. So for Easter, that was Valentine's. For Easter, we have $25. Let me put these ugly ones in the back of the stack. Doesn't help when they're all ugly, huh? Ooh. Okay. 
Okay, so 25. Good deal. Summer fun. It's been really hot here, so we haven't spent as much time as we wanted to in the pool because you have to sit in the sun to do that, and no one's willing to do that. Um, for 4th of July, we have 50, so we can put that in the bank and start making that work for us for next year. Halloween's coming up, and I know what we want to be, or I want what I want my family to be. Um, and so I'm excited about that. More to come. I said that last time, but still more to come. And then Thanksgiving, we have 25 in cash again. So let's consolidate that. I'd like to do something unconventional for Thanksgiving this year. We're still going to volunteer, but I'd like to do something different for Thanksgiving. For Christmas, as you know, we have... Um, our saving challenges going on. So this is just for the decor of the house. And so I'm not really doing much this year. So I'm not saving, you won't see this get too bulky. So 35 at best, it might be 50, maybe a hundred dollars if that, um, for Christmas. Um, maybe to replace some lights that may not be working when the time comes, that's it. So for New Year's, we have $20. That's the bill swap. And then birthdays, I think we dipped into this a little bit. We have $50. Let's put that in the bank. Let's put that, yeah, let's put that in the bank. So that is covered. And then grandparents, parents day, mother's day, father day, all parent type related days. We have $75 in here. And I wanted to get um, something for the mothers and mothers, respectively. And so I haven't done that yet. I haven't really focused on it. Uh, be doing that shortly because I'm we're about to see see them. And then family gatherings, we have 120. And I'm gonna put this in there, swap it out for 20. And this is just if we have dinner, game night, whatever, we have some money to pay for food, wings, our contribution, that type of thing. So some progress on our holiday or our celebration binder. And lastly, let's go through our um, low priorities. Low priorities, spring break is a trip we always take, typically no matter what. So this is my new prop money that I have just, I. I was gifted um, some of the fake prop money, so I made my own prop money. So um, this is a prop 50 that's in the bank. And then to that, we have 20, 30, 40. So nothing to consolidate there. I guess I could put this as one $20 bill, less money to count. Okay. So $90 in spring break. Got to start working on that one at some point. Hopefully, the job situation will change and I can do that. I have 150 in family travels. I took out some money out of this recently. So, um, this is at 150. And then Christmas splurge is a challenge that we're doing. So, we saw that in the challenge binder right now. And then wedding day. Let's see if there's anything here. It's 300 and 50 so this can go in here so let's take one of these out and do a one a t nope a 150. Let's do 150. Nope. 150. so lord come back here we're out of 50s that was we've used a lot of 50. okay so 300 and 50 in the bank and $15 in hand for wedding day. When this happens for us though, I probably, knowing myself, will probably do an actual wedding binder and stuff it specifically for the things that we want to buy and use. But until then, I'm just kind of pocketing it in a general category called wedding day. 
Um, Disney Adventure has 150 in the bank and 73. So we'll take this 50 and get a 200. And then Outings with Bay, I think, has been depleted cash wise and it only has 250 in the bank. And then Mr. A's birthday has 150 in the bank and 20, 30, 40. So $40 here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So now we have, I think that was only $20, excuse me, right? <gasps> So I think it's 190. Let's see. I got some thinking, yeah, 190. <laughs> I got thinking about something else and Lord, forgot that quick. Okay, so we are good there. And then last one is here for my birthday. So we have, ooh, we have something we put in the bank. Actually, we have a lot. Let me count it 20. 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. So I have 100. Woohoo. Okay. So all of this is going to the bank. So we have 100 for me. And we are consolidated. Bill swapped, popped out, going to the bank. So right now, that's all that I wanted to show you. Nothing in my business folder needs to be consolidated in self-care. I think we are good there. So let's, let's count this up and see how much we're taking to the bank this time. So let me get my calculator. So can you see that? Yep. So one, two, three, four, five, 500. Plus, okay, so 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56 hundred. So on 20s, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 520. 10s, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So 280. 280. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. So 155 and 5. And then the 1s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. Exactly. 45. We're taking exactly $2,100 back to the bank. That is just a very clear cut number. $2,100. I'm excited for an impromptu cash bill swap, cash condensing, prop money swap. I am super excited. Okay, so tell me the truth. When you do this process, if you do this process, how excited does it make you feel to see this? 
to know and experience this. Not because you get to play with a lot of money. That's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is the feeling that you get when you see that you were able to save this. I'm not talking about save like you take 20% of your, of your income and put it away in a savings account. That's great. Kudos. Everybody should be doing that. But in addition to that, when you budget, you also see this. This is in addition to the normal savings, um, direct savings. This is because you budgeted your money and because you budgeted your money and sinking funds and savings challenges and all of that stuff, you get to see this. So this is the benefit of budgeting versus just saving. I just had this conversation with a family friend where we were talking about how you're taught to save, but you are not really taught how to budget. And because you're not taught how to budget, you have to always continue to rely on that savings. You don't ever get give it a chance to grow exponentially. So I want to take this time to, to reflect and talk about the difference between savings and budgeting. So with budgeting, you have everyday expected expenses. You have everyday um, anticipated expenses, meaning variable expenses. You know that you will have groceries to buy. You just don't know when you're going to buy them or how much they're necessarily going to cost. But when you budget and you put money away, when you do encounter that event or that circumstance, you have the money to cover it. That's why I say, how does it make you feel when you see this? It makes me feel prepared. It makes me feel mature. <laughs> it makes me feel grateful slash humble. It makes me feel smart. Not because I know something someone else doesn't, but that I was smart enough to rely on that knowledge and do the right thing. So it makes me feel like I am truly doing my part in my family to make sure that we have our bases covered. And so this right here is why I continue to do this whole process is to know that we have this going to the bank one because it's passive income at this point. The high yield savings account is going to yield me right now 4.5%, 4.6% um, on the dollar. So I'm about to make money off just holding my money. And I'm able to put that money back in the bank because I sat here and budgeted every month and every week. And every time I had an expense, I went to here instead of my debit card. I went to here instead of my savings account. I went to here instead of my credit card. I was able to focus and, um, and I'm not saying credit cards are bad. It's bad when you can't pay them off, when I don't have the money to pay it off immediately. Um, this is where I do agree with Dave Ramsey. And when he says, um, if you can't pay for it in cash, you shan't buy it. And what he means by that, he's not talking about credit cards versus cash. He's just talking about if you have it to spend, then fine, go spend it. But if you don't have this, you shouldn't be swiping, you shouldn't be buying, you shouldn't be doing that because then you put yourself in a world of turmoil because you it compounds. And I'm, I'm just trying to be observant of that fact. And by doing this in the categories that you saw me go through, that means that I was able to put money away for the categories I know that are important to us. Hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully that makes sense and hopefully that encourages you, motivates you to think about this process. Um, if you have any questions, DM me. I am me. I, I'm going to put this, probably this segment on TikTok and Instagram. So make sure that we, if you have questions, if you don't agree, tell me. Um, because I'd love to have that conversation and I'd love to fix my way of thinking if I'm wrong. But this is what inspires me. This is my thought, my thought process, my school of thought. So anyway, I, you know where I'm about to go right now to the bank. So until next time, I'm going to say, see you on the flip side. Please be kind, be safe, be healthy. Just be the reason someone smiles today. Hopefully those words are resonating with you every time I put them at the end of the video. Um, be the reason someone smiles. And if you are the reason someone smiles, that's because you yourself is having a good day. Okay. So a good moment anyway. So just be the reason, be someone's sunshine. So until then, I'll see, I'll say bye and catch you on the flip side. Okay.